it is a race to get America's energy to the international market, and the Port of Corpus Christi is positioning itself to be a major player. And the $360 million channel improvement project will give Port Corpus Christi the deepest ship channel on the entire Gulf Coast. Here's our Paulo Salazar now with more on that. Phase one of the project is already underway. Great Lakes Dredge and Dock is performing the work, and I was able to get exclusive access aboard the Dredge Terrapin Island. The channel improvement project will secure the port's future for decades to come. It's going to be a lot of equipment. It's going to be a big deal, huh? Yeah, as you can see right now, the, the pumps are working, the drag kits are bringing all the stuff in, and all the materials being filled into the hopper. It's the largest project the Port of Corpus Christi will have in the works for 2019. And with over $78 million of its own money invested, the port is banking on the channel improvement project to pay off big. By widening the ship channel by 530 feet and deepening it from 41 feet to 54 feet, it will make the port a major player when it comes to exporting American commodities. We're exporting more American energy than ever before. And Corpus Christi is certainly right at front and center at this new paradigm shift. But we've got to make sure that we can handle the larger classifications of ships and more of those vessels safely and competitively. From our economic analysis, a deeper channel will increase the efficiency of exporting specifically oil type products, petroleum based products, out of, out of and into the port of Corpus Christi. It's a major project and undertaking. It'll consist of multiple phases. The first phase will take care of seven and a half miles of dredging. And it's the first step in continuing that the Port of Corpus Christi remains a major player when dealing with exports. Great Lakes Dredging and Dock was awarded the contract for phase one and has its hopper dredge, the Terrapin Island, currently removing the loose top sediments of the channel before deepening of the channel can begin. For this project, it's going to be very, very valuable to the community, to Corpus, for bringing in bigger ships, bigger tankers, especially with the big boom in oil here in the, in the coastal bend. It will allow the vessels to carry more cargo and more commodities, such as crude oil at one time, reducing the cost of transports. The money that we invest and ultimately the returns that we get on our investment not only create more jobs and create more livelihoods, but they stay right here. That money stays right here in South Texas. Phase one will take care of the entrance channel and should be completed by February 20th. Three phases will still remain, deepening the channel all the way to Viola Channel. The project should be completed in four and a half years, cementing the port of Corpus Christi as one of the busiest and most lucrative ports in the country. Close to $54 million of the additional federal allocations have been proposed, but not yet approved for 2020. Phase two of the project will consist of deepening the ship channel from ferry landing to just past La Quinta Junction.